Hey guys, what's up? Tamahome here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Shenmue 2. It's been a while since I did my last <coughs> recording on my Let's Play. I'm really sorry about that, I've been pretty busy. Right, when we last left off, Ryo got his ass handed to him by this lady, <coughs> who we fa who is actually Li Xiaotao, but we found out her name was Shuing. I would like to talk to her on this part, Shuing. because this is quite an what interesting thing. Can you tell me where Yang Da Zhu is? There's a reason why I want to talk why to her. Why do you want to know? I came here to meet Yang Da Zhu. You are still not aware of the position you are in. What do you mean by my position? I have allowed you to stay with me, but I did not promise you anything else. Then what about Yang Da Zhu? Why don't you worry about your Kung Fu instead? She's quite a straight lady, this what one. What do you mean by Kung Fu? Your moves are not refined, and you're exerting unnecessary force. When I sparred with you, I still wasn't... You mean you weren't serious? She wasn't serial. N no. Admit your lack of experience. Only then will the true training begin. Well, I'm so sorry, miss. What Why didn't you tell me who you were when we first met? I didn't mean to hide it. You just assumed Master Tao was a man. I didn't even imagine then that a woman could be a master. But well, you're a fucking idiot. If you rely on the appearances, you won't be able to see the strength hidden beneath. Age and gender have nothing to do with Kung Fu. She actually has a point there. Ryo shouldn't have assumed that Tao was a man. Shuing. Come to the Dayu. Oh yeah, that's what she's going to say. So now what we've got to do is follow her to the Dayu One Apartments, which is where Ryo's going to be staying for a few... couple of days. Or maybe a few days, actually. And there's a reason why I probably won't be advancing that much through the story. Well, we'll be advancing for the time being, of course, but... Oh, it's night time. Where is she? Oh wait, how the fuck did she get down there? But there will be a part where obviously we will need to make some money, because I've only got $190. I don't know if I should be recording it because it will be the crate job or I might I might do a bit of gambling just to make some money actually so that it doesn't take too long but there is at some point a time where I might just get Rio to do a couple of days worth of work and just like just mess around for a bit I'll show you like the side side areas like I said I would a couple of games of darts perhaps for Rio I know you got some of you guys will be like, oh, I just want to do some of this. I just want you to do the story. I oh, will do the story. Come on, everyone deserves some entertainment, and there are a few collection stuff I would like to uh, gather. I'm so bored, I'm going to buy a map. Maps. This area. Good. What a waste of $10. You want to buy a map for $10? Nah, I'm good, Tommy. Oh, come on. I'll just leave him here. Woo, maps. Ah, oh, there's a pawn shop here. You can make some money from there, actually. Oh, I think I've got something... I think I've got some stuff in my collection. Well, I've got a couple of things. Well, definitely the anchors. I don't know why I've got two roses. Oh, yeah, because obviously I was going to run running out of money. Oh, well. Here we are, the Daiyuan Apartments. I don't know if she's going to go in. Oh, we have to wait for her. Oh, no, we have to wait for her. There we go. It's room 207 of this building. Huh? Come. Now, technically speaking, once you enter Shuin's room, that would be the end of disc one. So believe it or not, guys, we're at the end of disc one if you was playing the Dreamcast version. Can we get up the stairs? Oh, 
chewing. Come to room 207. Um. Don't go into the wrong room. You'll bother other tenants. Go into the wrong I room. Understand. Go into the wrong room. What a great idea. Hello. Looks like no one's here. Don't bother with the other tenants, Rio. God. Oh, here we go. This room. Come in. Is this your room? Yes. Is there a problem with it? No, but... Oh, where do I begin? If I'm no, going I'm to joking. sleep here, it would... What are you thinking? You're sleeping on the sofa. Yeah, what were you thinking? I mean, well done if you could, Rio, but you know. I can't complain. She doesn't look like one of those type of women you can easily pick up. Sorry, Rio. I feel for you. It was a good idea while she was sleeping, but I better not. I better go to sleep. Oh, Rio, did, how could you? <sighs> Day thoughts. I'm sorry, folks. Honestly, Rio, oh, he should be arrested. <clears throat> anyway, that would be the end of disc one if you was playing the Dreamcast version. But seeing how we're playing the Xbox version, then it's all one big disc. There is no end of disc one, insert this disc, which is pretty much what I'm pretty grateful for. I'm not going to lie, because that means I would actually have to get off my chair and stop recording. So anyway, this would be disc, the beginning of disc two now. See, I know my Shenmue all too well, and I cannot wait for Shenmue three at the end of next year. Really cannot. Ah, oh, here's another main character. Feng Mei Zun. Yo Hazuki, right? Yes. I'm Fang Mei Hyun. I'm Chewing's assistant. I'm Fang Mei Hyun. Um, oh. I've got a message from Chewing. Please go to Manmo Temple's library now. <coughs> oh, this part of the game is so boring. I'll get that. Hello? Oh, yes. Right away. Chewing wants you to hurry. I'm leaving now. Oh. oh, I almost forgot. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll be seeing her about now. Thank me soon. She's like some. She's as she, she's already said. She's Chewing's assistant, and she's only fourteen years old. Anyway, this part of the game's really boring because poor Rio will have to air out books. You're here. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, where are you going? Hi there, sexy. Am I joking? Me. Yes. <laughs> you sounded like some like mind control person. And, yes, March. Yeah, we have to air out all these books, and it shouldn't take too long. We will, but. This is what Rio's going to be doing for a couple of days. Because every time you air out all the books, you get new moves. You get new move sets. I want you to air out these books. Air out the books? Me? Yeah. Who else? Well, the monks I could. I you were going to tell me about Young Dazu. I put you up for the night, didn't I? Uh, Alright. I guess I have to. Did I hear something? Mm, no. <laughs> well, get to it then. <laughs> Did I hear something? Damn your Vulcan hearing. Please get started. But I don't wanna. Yes. Carry each pile and place it on the stand outside. I'll spread out the books. You just carry them out. Your service to the temple will last until noon. If you carry them all out, you'll be done. And the, and the earlier and the quicker we do it, yeah. the more time we get. They are precious books, so don't drop them. Let's get to work. Well, I'll try not Might to, well. buddy. 
I'll try not to drop him. But you know, Rio, he's too cat candid. Oh, we don't have minge. Right, so we got her out of these books. If you're running, these will come, the QTEs. That's the way to go. Oh, this is so boring! And the funny thing is, I can't stop recording this because the more days you carry out the books, the more extra scenes you get, and the more hand moves, like more hand books you get for learning different moves. That's the way to go. So there will be a couple of days where poor Rio will have to air out books. I'm sorry, guys, it is very boring. I'll try and I'll try and last. Uh, I'll try to like get it done as quick as possible. But the That's fact, the way to go. but the fact is, though, you can never know when a cutscene will occur during the airing out books part. There are some times where you don't get a cutscene until you've aired out all the books. So poor Rio will be airing books out for a couple of. I uh, know oh, he definitely will be for a couple of days. That's the way to go. Why can't you? Why can't you get like another monk to carry out these books? Why does poor Rio have to do it? Oh fuck! Now, nearly fucked that one up. The next pile, please. The next pile, please. Let's get rid of these books near the entrance, shall we? Oh, we already nearly dropped them then, mate. Bring the piles out. I got the easy job in the world, just spreading out the books and dusting them off. Why, like, put the books the on the table? Out, Why bring the books out, put them on the table, only just to put them back in again? I don't understand. Why can't it just have its own case in the library so people can just pick out? The next pile, please. The next pile, please, we are. I'm getting it! Stop telling me what to do! Oh, we're almost done anyway. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I can't believe I skipped that. We're almost done. Rio, how could you fucking drop all those books, you dick? Uh, I'm gonna pause the video.